I gotta call him. I gotta call him. I gotta call him right away. Oh. Come on, dial tone, dial tone. Let's go. You and my, I uh, come on, pick up. He loved me Now I really wanna see you more. Sam, it's Matt. How you doing, buddy? Yeah, it's me, Matty Street. Yeah, it's me, man. Oh, how you doing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I gotta tell you all about. It. I saw the lemon twigs the other night, my friend. Yes, they were in Boston. Yeah, they were in Boston at the Somerville Theater, the Annex, the Crystal Ballroom. Yes, in Somerville, which is just outside Boston. So it was essentially their Boston gig. They just got back from Europe and the UK on a big tour. And they played the first show in North America on this leg of the tour at Boston. Thursday, October 3rd, sold out, my friend. Yes, Sam, it was sold out. Yeah, it was absolutely amazing, Sam. Absolutely amazing. One of the best live shows I've seen in a long time, Sam. Let me tell you, the Lemon Twigs bring it. The musicianship, the instrumentation, the harmonies, the vocals. Spot on, my friend. Spot on, Sam. I mean, I'm absolutely amazing and, and just wonderful all around. The energy. In this show, Sam, the excitement they brought, the vibe, the cool atmosphere. People were singing along, Sam. How, how, how many times can you go to a show now and people are singing along to actual beautiful voices up on the stage singing and not some stupid tape loops or God knows what? Fakeness, fakeness. This was real. This is real people, flesh and blood, with real instruments and microphones singing and playing. Yeah, nothing else, Sam. That's all it was. Yep. To me, I got to tell you, Sam, yeah, because you would agree, right? You saw them too earlier this year out your way. Yeah, you know, it's like seeing, to me anyway, it was like seeing a British invasion band at their peak in a 60s nightclub back in the day, like 60-something years ago. That's what it's like. You're seeing a great new young hungry band in a venue Small enough where, you know, there's not a million people there, although it was sold out. But it's like seeing one of those early British invasion bands. Or seeing one of those 70s power pop bands in a club when they were first starting out. You know what I mean? Like, you get that vibe. Like, people just don't know what they're missing by not seeing something like this. The power of this. And you know what really impressed me, Sam, was the diverse audience. Because you're getting people like me, old fogies and farts who, you know, remember the Beatles in the 60s. And I'm in my 60s. So you get people like me, Sam, but you're also getting people in their 50s and their 40s, middle-aged people. 30-somethings were there. I went with one of my sons. He's in his 30s. He was there. And then you get, though, the vast majority of Generation Z. You get a lot of people college age, Sam, in their 20s at these Lemon Twig shows. And they're all loving it. The old farts like me and the young 20-somethings, all together in harmony, singing and having a great time, swaying to the music, getting into it. You know, so I loved it, Sam. One of the best shows I've seen in a long time. Oh, uh, you're too kind. No, don't flatter me like that. Yeah, I, I know I'm Matthew Street. I know. Come on, you're making me blush here. I know you love me. I know. I love you, too. All right. You're great. All right, Sam. I got to run, but I love the show. Fantastic. I'm a Lemon Twigs maniac. Yes, I am. Love you, buddy. Bye-bye. Oh, so wasn't that nice to hear from Sam St. John? Oh, yes, Sam, he's into Lemon Twigs. Go watch his channel, Sam St. John. I love the kid. And uh, he, he helped boost my fanship towards the Lemon Twigs. And I'm, a, I'm an all-card-carrying fan now of the Lemon Twigs. Folks... 
in all seriousness, and that was serious because I loved the show the other night, folks. And I'll post maybe a little video, but not too much here. There's plenty of stuff online if you want to see it. Actually, the entire show has already been posted. The one I saw, the first show on the tour here in North America on this leg of the tour is up now. I will put the link below. Go check it out and you'll see the power and majesty of this band and how great they are. Folks, I... <laughs> Let me tell you another story, because you'll notice an image or two here or there. One image. I got one good image. Prior to the show, my son and I pull up. We didn't know where to park. We went in front of the theater. Then we made a right on a side street to the left of the theater. And then he saw a spot down the back of the theater, another street in the back. We made another right. And there's a spot near a parking garage. Boom. We got a spot. No tolls. No, uh, what do you call them? Uh, meters and all that stuff. We pull up. We park. We're starting to get out. I didn't even have time to put these on. My Matthew Street glasses. This is me without glasses. All right. So I didn't even have time to go like this and put my glasses on as I'm standing on the sidewalk because I don't drive with these. Driving, I don't need glasses. It's only when I'm like, you know, this. So I didn't even have time to put these on. I get out. I'm up on the sidewalk getting ready to grab my stuff and my glasses. And, I, and who comes around the corner like 15 feet from me as I'm standing there at the driver's door? Michael Daddario and Reza Martin from the Lemon Twigs. They're walking on the sidewalk right towards me, and they're carrying records. Both of them have records in their arm. Maybe there might have been a couple of 33 and a third, some 45s and stuff. And I recognize them right away because I'm a fan. So I go, hey, guys, hey, I'm a big fan. And they stop, very gracious. We chatted a little bit, introductions. Hi, I'm Matthew Street. This is my son. I'm a big fan. I've done videos about you guys and Reza Mateen. He's also in the Uniboys band, which is a great band also, folks. Uniboys, check them out. Uniboys, I've made videos. Of, I love you. I love the Lemon Twigs. I'm a big fan, blah, blah, blah. I've made videos about you. And I asked them, they, you could tell, they had to get backstage to get ready for sound check and stuff. They went on their little record shopping excursion, and I didn't want to hold them up. I could have said, can you do an intro for the Matthew Street channel? Or, hey, can we do a quick interview together? But, you know, it wasn't the time or place. So I'm respectful of artists like that. So basically no time for a video, but I asked my son to take a picture of us, and I asked the guys, Reza and Michael, hey, can we, can we take a picture together? And they were very nice chaps. And they said, sure, let's take a picture together. So you can see us arm in arm. We'll take a picture. I'm probably going to um, embellish the picture for the thumbnail here to include Brian <laughs> in, the, in the picture and Danny. So you'll see them on the ends. But the picture of me, Reza Mateen, and Michael, are, we were all together arm in arm. And it was beautiful. And I'm a big fan. So thank you guys for that. If you ever see this video, thank you. I appreciate you stopping and taking the time for Matthew Street. So, folks... What a show. I'm, I'm going to get out of here now. I don't want to make the video too long, but I left the show and my son left the show reinvigorated. He's a Lemon Twigs fan as well. Both of my sons are, but I only was able to go with one. And I had the hope in my heart and soul that, you know what? Rock and roll and great music, well-written, well-played music is alive and well. It's out there, folks. And the Lemon Twigs are carrying that torch along with other great bands like this one here that I love, the Midnight Callers. You know, Midnight Callers aren't quite to the level of the Lemon Twigs yet, but the Midnight Callers are right here. You know, they've got a record deal. They're on radio and stuff. They're doing great shows. They're building too. But bands like the Lemon Twigs and the Midnight Callers, new, young, hungry bands like that, they're out there, folks, and they're making quality music. The Lemon Twigs were absolutely fabulous live. The punch, the in-your-face sound, the uh, wall of sound that hits you with their versions of their studio stuff, especially on this album. They played a lot from Everything Harmony. They have played a lot from the brand new one, A Dream Was All We Know. Tons of songs from these two albums, a couple of snippets from their first three albums. They played a new song, which sounded wonderful, by the way. They played some great covers, like The Beach Boys, You're So Good To Me. They played Del Shannon's Runaway. I, I, they, it was absolutely fabulous, folks. So I'm reinvigorated, man. I am in... I am into rock and roll. Call me the rock and roll reinvigoration office, will you please? Because I, I need a shot of rhythm and blues, and I got it the other night, folks. The Lemon Twigs, live. First show on this leg of the tour in Boston, Crystal Ballroom, Somerville, Mass. And I'm just so happy to share it with you. Love you all. 
check out the lemon twigs. You will not be sorry and come back here and tell me you love them. Love you. Bye-bye.